Hello friends, welcome back to Better Together Life <laughs> where we are scrambling on the homestead. We've got a baby arriving as of today, anytime in the next two weeks. So you might be seeing this before or after the baby comes. We just wanted to make sure that we get to keep up with you and provide really great stuff even in the midst of having a newborn. So I hope you enjoy this fun episode of Better Together Life where we're gonna talk about 30 facts you might have wanted to always know about us. So I used to wakeboard as a teenager and jet ski and that's I was really good at wakeboarding. Now you're almost 40 and that's never gonna happen again. No. That works out good. You did jump off of a really high rock. You can do it! <laughs> Kelly has had currently four babies without any medication, one in the hospital and then three in a birthing pool and the fifth one hopefully here in the studio. I played soccer for 16 years. I tore my ACL and my meniscus, and that's why we met. We met in what I call in college, in theater, a moaning and groaning This class. is a kid's show. <laughs> it was the dumbest class I've ever taken. We both have theater degrees, like degrees that we went to college for, for theater. In our theater <laughs> degree, I took one class called Directing for TV and Film, which led to my career of making money with a video camera. Our parents don't think we have real jobs. <laughs> okay, you're going, that would have made me cry. <sighs> We moved to the homestead knowing very little about how to build anything. Bo had built a small step stool for the kids in the bathroom, a bench that we still use for tools, and some garden beds. We used everything that, that was I basically it. Yeah. Kelly hates chickens. I do not hate them. I appreciate them. I do not enjoy chickens. You love the cows. I love, I think I'm a big farm animal girl. I love the cows. I love the pigs. You want sheep. I want sheep. Yeah, I love, I love the big animals. I, since college, have always been a Mac computer person. Kelly used to be a PC, so we were, it was rough for the first, like, five years. And then her computer broke, and I have since converted her to be a Mac. We're both Macs. And I, I walked across the street and there you were, and oh my Working gosh. Working on my Mac. And I had my yeah, Mac. Mac. I am born and raised and have never lived anywhere else but Texas. Yep. I moved every two years of my life as an army brat. I prefer raising animals than I do to garden. Gardening. I like gardening. But I do very little of the work. You haven't done any of the work since this season because you're so pregnant. That's true. I am an introvert. Kelly is an extrovert. He is a morning person. I am a night owl. I would say politically we are both libertarian-ish. We both love Jesus. Little known fact, Bo bakes almost all of our sourdough bread that you see on my Instagram. <laughs> we do actually have jobs. We run YouTube. We have a doTERRA oils business. We do affiliate marketing and all of this lets us work from home, which is why our parents are so confused. I really like Bitcoin and I probably check it too often. Our kids love audiobooks and they suck us into the really good ones. So we would say Peter Nimble, no. Sophie Choir, and Narnia series are our top favorite replayed audiobooks at our house. I lived in Korea oh. for two years when I was in high school. So South Korea, in Seoul, eighth and ninth grade. That's a pretty good fact. It's very cool. Yeah. I used to be a super big sports fan, 
especially Houston sports. Now, honestly, I could care less about all professional sports. I don't think sports. you even know what's going on. No, I have no. <laughs> like, I was a super. But I would go to fan. a Super Bowl party and make yummy things for it any day. Yeah. In in case you want to invite us. Now I just watch homesteading stuff on YouTube. I use Ryobi tools, and I really don't care what everybody says to say that they are cheap tools. I like the Ryobi tools. They work. I have had 12 jobs in my life, and I think Kelly, we did the, the added it up, I think she's had seven. I love residual income, so much so that my very first network marketing company that I found out about and I uh, joined was, I was 17 years old, and they wouldn't let me sign up because you had to be 18, so I signed up under my mom's social security, which allowed me to do the business and I signed, it was, you had to do long distance. So I got my 10 long distance customers, which got me a brand new Dell computer. Like long distance phone service. Yeah, long distance phone service. <laughs> That's not even a thing. Yeah. So with that, I did one, two, three, four. I think I have done five network marketing companies and the first one that was really successful was the doTERRA, which we're still doing, which is paid for everything for us to be able to get to the homestead and it was all because Kelly it was all because we found a product that we liked but Kelly was way better at doing relationship stuff than I am it's not long distance service <laughs> it's not it's easier yeah <clears throat> that was a hard one we love multiple streams of income uh, basically just because it's safety nets in case YouTube or 2020 happens yeah <laughs> we like it we, after we bought this property and before we moved here, things got a little rough marriage-wise and we did go see uh, a marriage counselor, which we highly recommend. recommend. It was great. So if, you, if you're gonna take your car in for a tune-up, there's no shame in getting your marriage for a tune-up. It worked out great. So yes, we, we did marriage counseling because I wanted to move to this property way before we were ready. We are first generation homesteaders. Good, bad, and ugly. 